All right, welcome to my first tutorial. Uh, today we're going to talk about Java. Uh, more specifically, we're going to talk about objects and how to use objects and classes in Java. Um, and so I'm going to start give a, I'm going to give you some uh, examples here so um, we could you could have a, a basic understanding at least if you're a novice of uh, how this works. Um, of at least a very basic understanding so you could just go around and create your own programs. Uh, so uh, I know I have uh, limited time on YouTube videos. They can only be about 10 minutes long. So um, I'm going to try to be do this in several videos. So um, you know, like there's so, only so much I could do uh, at the pace I'm going. So uh, forgive me if it's all split up into videos, but uh, that's a limitation that I have with YouTube. Okay, um, <clears throat> moving along. Um, I have um, a project here that I created that has a main uh, main class that has you know the the main uh, method where we run the program from um, but we need to create an object uh, to work with here for this for, for this tutorial um, so objects they are you know uh, they represent uh, real life entities like uh, what we're going to use for this project here we're going to use a ball for instance a ball is an object and well, you could create several different ball objects or several several different instances of a ball. Like we could create an instance of a ball would be a basketball. An instance of a, another instance of a ball would be a tennis ball, and you know a football. Well, we're not going to get into you know different shapes ball balls. We just want to talk about the, the the ones that are like shaped like a sphere. Um, so. We could work with this with this example here, um, but anyway, to create a ball, um, in, uh, instance of a ball, we need to create its blueprint. That would be the class. The class is the blueprint where we decide where we design the uh, the properties of a ball. You know, the size, the color, uh, whether it's flat or you know whatever, and um, <clears throat> we also define. Um, what operations this ball supports? What 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 you could what can you do with a ball? I could just roll the ball on the floor. I could bounce the ball on the floor. I could do you know inflate the ball, deflate the ball, whatever. Um, we're going to set these things up and see how everything works. Um, you know, create a meaningful program at least to serve as an example. Um, so, okay, let's go. We'll begin by creating a ball class, the blueprint. So I'll just go here, say new file. Um, I'll go next here because I'm creating a new class, and I say ball. Okay, this is the ball class, and the ball class. I like to take these things out of here because they just make the program look messy for now for the example. Uh, so I have a class ball here being defined and first I'm going to define the uh, the properties for the ball the properties that I want to use so I'm going to create a private um, property here uh, that's an integer that's going to represent represent the size of the ball okay and I'm making it private because I don't want anybody seeing this property out, not outside or manipulating this property outside this class. I don't want someone, you know, if you buy a, a soccer ball at the store, you, you know, you can't make the soccer ball into a tennis ball, right? Uh, you can't change the size to make it look like a tennis ball. The soccer ball is a soccer ball, so I don't want the programmer to go in there and say, "Hey, I'll change the size." The size. Of the ball. No, the ball is the size that the programmer sets originally, and that's it. You get only one chance when you create the object. You want another ball? Create another object, a different size ball. Okay, so we have a size. Um, let's say I want to do the color of the ball, so I'll make a string for now for color. Okay, 
And uh, I need a, another one just to say um, it's an integer just to say what the the air pressure of the ball is. Let's say, and with the air pressure, we have something that's related to it, which is asking whether this ball is flat or not, right? Is it flat? Yes or no? Okay. Uh, so here we have some properties for this ball. Uh, now let's set um, the constructor for the ball because we need. In Java, it, it's you, you don't have to have a constructor because by default you have you know the constructor is just a constructor that does, that does not accept um, any uh, uh, parameters. But we want a, a constructor th in this case here because we want to set some initial the initial size of the ball and the initial color of the ball. So we'll create a constructor for that so the user could go here into the the main method and just sit and create an instance with of a ball with these properties okay that the user that the programmer sets for him herself okay so I'll create a um, the, the ball constructor here and accepting t uh, two um, two different parameters that the user is going to send that the program is going to, to send to create the ball so I'll just call these um, initial init size okay and uh, I'll do the init init color okay those are the parameters they are sent by the user and once the, the sender the, the user sends these parameters over to create this um, object I want to, of course, uh, I want to assign the init size to size to our size um, property right here, and I like to assign the init color to the color property. So init color, and we could just you know and that's it that's pretty much it uh, the only th other thing we need to set is that we need a value for air pressure and, and it's flat because we're not letting the user set that for him herself um, so we need some values for these to be default and the default value for air pressure would be 20 let's say that's you know the ball could be 20 um, and is flat let's you know, since it's the air pressure is 20, it's not flat. So we'll just say it's false. And uh, with this, I could go in here and create an instance of this ball. I could just say, um, you know, I created the ball class, so I have a ball, a new ball data type that I could declare here. And let's say I want to create a tennis ball, right? That's the name of my my object. It's a tennis ball, and uh, it's a new ball and I want to set the parameters here the tennis ball is about four inches in the diameter and the color is lime right it's yellow green whatever the color is of a tennis ball so here it is I can't do anything with this um, class because right now I haven't set any uh, operations to to it like you know I could I could create a, an operation here to roll the ball and I could roll the ball that I just created, my tennis ball, and I, could, you know, I, I can't do anything like that, and I can't see what the properties are because all the properties are private. So if I want to uh, show the user what the properties are, I have to create operations that display what the property, what the properties are. Um, and we're going to do that in the next video because we're running out of time. Uh, so stick around, and uh, if you want to, if you're interested, uh, just click on to video number two. Okay, all right.